Finally, found this figure. Which is it? What the fuck? Apparently this is Mad About Toys, and he's got a good one for you. But before you settle in, go grab a nice big glass of aviation gin. Now back to you, Bob. It's Matt, actually. I don't give a unicorn shit. Wow, like getting kicked in the nuts when I saw this floating around social media, this price for this Spider-Man Noir. If you watch any of my videos, I love talking shit about Hasbro. Well, this is straight up not Hasbro's fault. 100% Toys R Us here in Canada. Let's call this a mistake at this point. Spider-Man Noir and Ham Quotations 2-Pack selling for $84.99, when it should be selling for $49.99, which is also a ridiculous price based on the price increases we saw in the last year or so. But I'm not going to get into that right now as I want to stay on topic. I've already covered the price increases in a previous video. This video, I want to focus on this one product. Spider-Man Noir Ham, again, quotations, two-pack. I absolutely loved the movie Into the Spider-Verse. So when they announced that they were going to make the Spider-Man Noir figure, I was excited. They were going to include Ham in there, which that did not excite me. I already got it. And it was going to be an exclusive to Target in the U.S. Canada, Toys R Us. Oh, that absolutely crushed me. Toys R Us have the most expensive prices for Hasbro figures in the entire country. You would think that mantle would go to a mom and pop shop, but you'd be wrong. Toys R Us has the most expensive prices and it's not even close. So for people in the U.S. getting Toys R Us back, I would temper those ex expectations a little bit. If they run their business the same way as they do in Canada, they're going to jack up those prices so they can have those 20% off sales. So this figure, I believe, should be 50 bucks. But oh boy, was I wrong coming in at a whopping $84.99. The same price as the other two packs released this year. Peter and Ned, two pack in the Spider-Man and Spinneret at Toys R Us coming in at $84.99. Even those prices are about $10 higher than GameStop. So, am I just going to talk about this shit, bitch and complain? No, absolutely not. I took the time to go out of my way, try to research and find the number for their PR team, their media relations, couldn't find it online, so I went into one of their stores. Went to customer service and asked for the number for media relations. She called the manager the manager said they couldn't find the number for media relations and gave me the number to the head office, which said they should be able to provide that, that telephone number or email address. So that's exactly what I did. I called the head office and received an email contact for a person that was apparently the head of PR. Email detailing why I believe they charged $35 over what this price should actually be. I broke down that they charge approximately $10 on top of the exchange rate when compared to what Target sells the products for. Here is an example. Target sells this figure, the Spider-Man figure, for $26.99. If you times the Canadian exchange rate at 1.35%, that equals $35.76. Toys R Us sells this for $44.99, which is a difference of $9.23 above the exchange rate. The Spider-Man Noir sells in Target for $29.99. If you times the exchange rate, that's $40.48. If you add that $9.23, this figure should sell for $49.99. But it doesn't. It sells for $84.99, which is an overprice by $35. I get price increases, especially in the current world we are living in. But this far exceeds a price increase. It's either a mistake in entering the price in the system, which I believe it is. The person 
saw the description and saw two pack and priced it the same as the other two packs. In January 2021, this Gwen and Ham figure were being sold with a build a figure piece, a large build a figure piece, in Toys R Us for $32.99. Same price across the entire wave, the Stiltman wave. $32.99, that was actually the first wave and the first increase in years by Hasbro. So this is the first time they went up, but every figure in that wave was the same, $32.99. So Ham was considered more of an accessory, not an action figure because he was included. This was not a two-pack at that time. Oh, you're still here. Well, you might as well hit that like button. And... Shit, what was the next line? Subscribe. Oh yeah, thank you. While you're at it, why don't you give that subscribe button a little tap -a It'll make this guy feel real good. He's got low self-esteem. That's not in the script. Anywho, I gotta go. You know, number two. Back to whatever the f this guy was talking about. So, if you look in 2021, 19 months later, according to the price at Toys R Us, ham is now $40, which is an increase of 4,000% for a figure that is 2.5 inches tall and has no articulation. Besides for being able to move his head. Wow. Absolutely insane. Along with messaging the person from Toys R Us head office PR team, I also sent every single Toys R Us store a message on Instagram. A lot of them you couldn't, won't receive uh, direct messages, but some of them could. I have yet to receive a message back from any person from Toys R Us. If you're Canadian and you want this figure, let's band together. Let's come together as a community and get this price changed. Message your Toys R Us. Go into your Toys R Us. Complain. Complain to whoever will listen. And hopefully we'll get this price changed. Because if they don't, I hope not one single Canadian will pay this outrageous price of $84.99 for this figure. Even when Toys R Us has their 20% off sale, this figure will not be worth the sale price. So let's do it. Let's band together and get this thing changed. That'll do it for this one. If you could share this one, share the shit out of it. Because I really want that Spider-Man noir figure, but I don't want to be assaulted to get it. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you have a great weekend, and I'll talk to you guys later. All done the video.